Hi, I'm Julie Benz, and you're watching Supernova TV. Hi, I am here with the lovely Julie Benz. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm, I'm very, very well. You have been in Australia for two weeks this time, but you've yes. been here a couple of times before, haven't you? Yes, yes. What, what is your favourite thing about Australia? What do you enjoy doing while you're here? I enjoy holding koala bears, <laughs> except you can't hold them. So well, I enjoy standing next to koala bears. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I really enjoy? I enjoy the people. Yep. I think the people here are amazing. The fan questions are always so thoughtful and so smart. And it makes for an easy. It makes my job easier answering those types of questions. And it's just people are very thoughtful here. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nice because I, I do think sometimes you can get the same questions over and over and over, and it's really nice to get something new and fresh. Yeah. Well, normally the, I always get, "What's that like kissing David Boreanaz?" And "What's what it like kisser?" <laughs> you know, and all that. And those questions are just like. Ugh. Um, so it's really nice, like not one person asked me that question. Well, also, I mean, <laughs> anyone who's ever worked in things knows that kissing on screen is not it's, fun. It's not fun. Well, well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, no, it's not. I mean, it's, it's, it's very technical. You well, usually have a director like screaming at you going like, move your head to the right, to the left, and hand up. And you know, it's, it's, you, there's no like sensuality to it. No, no. no it, now, you're, you're working currently on Hawaii Five-0. Yes, I recur on the show. Yeah. Now, which being the case, is it possible to get sick of a place as wonderful as Hawaii? Because you've been working on that show mm -hmm. for how many years now? Only two. Right. Um, no, I mean, it's probably the best job I've ever had. <laughs> um, you know, I travel a lot back and forth between Hawaii and LA, and a lot of my friends back home are like, oh, you must be so exhausted with all the traveling. You must be so stressed. And I'm like, I go to paradise. <laughs> I get paid to go to paradise and to work, and it's amazing. Like, I am not stressed at all. So it's a great place, and no, you don't get sick of it. There's so much beauty there, and there's something about the island that, like, um, cosmically just kind of heals me. Like, I feel like every time I go, I'm like, re my soul's recharged, so Ooh. I love it. Now, another show that I watched a great deal of was Defiance. Mm. Now, hell of a show, incredible concepts. What was it like for you working on it? Yeah, it was, uh, I liked playing a human on an alien show. I was yeah. very happy. I didn't have all the hair and makeup calls, and I didn't have all the, the glue and the contact mm. lenses and all of that. So I was very happy being the human. Um, I, it was fun. What I really enjoyed about the show was that my character, Amanda Rosewater, was a woman who was not defined by a man. Mm. To find a character like that, it's very hard. Because usually I'm playing the girlfriend of somebody, or the love interest of somebody, or the wife of somebody. And to play a woman who, can sta who stands alone and is not defined by her relationship to a man is very rare. And so I, I love that about Amanda. And you think that that's where it's going, that it's going to be that love interest sort of thing, but then subverts it entirely. Yeah, we never got it together <laughs> to hook up. Which, you know, <laughs> And I think that's great. It yeah. makes for much more interesting viewing. It does. I mean, we definitely, Amanda and Nolan definitely had strong feelings for each other, but they were both so damaged that they never, they never got it together, you know? Oh. So, but you, everybody, fans were always rooting for them to get together. Yeah, and as we've learned from any TV show, never put the two lead characters together because it just kills the show. Yeah, and never, never, ever put them together and then have them have a baby. No, <laughs> that's no. That's like death to a show. It's the moonlighting effect. It just kills everything. Yes. <laughs> if you could sum up Supernova in one word, how would you sum it up? I would say it's a heck of a lot of fun. I will, I will give you that as one word. <laughs> it's all one run on it's word. It's all one, like, hashtag, <laughs> heck of a lot of fun. I love it. Thank you so much, Julie. <laughs> Thank you.